Okay, accuse, or excuse, my god, my brain. Okay, excuse the mess that I look. Um, I feel just as much as I look. <laughs> I'm like hyperventilating. Okay, <clears throat> so I already went to the doctor and they gave me a test and it came back positive. But I want to be 100% sure. I'm um, not saying that doctors aren't pretty accurate, but I still wanted to test myself and also just have something to keep as well. So I went to the store and I got a regular test and I got two digital clear blues. So I'm gonna take those and I'll see you in a second. Okay. Um, excuse any background noise because there are people like across the street working on a car and some other stuff. So, uh, yeah. So I took the test right here. I have them all upside down because I don't want to see them yet. <sighs> I'm really nervous. Okay, so I think the first one I'm going to look at is the regular one. I think it might be ready now. Oh my god, that is a clear, clear positive. Like, that is so clear. You can see the cross. Oh my god. Okay, let me see the, the digital ones, which I'm sure they'll probably say the same thing anyway. They both say pregnant. I mean, I know it looks like I'm like, I'm just like sad about it. I'm not. I just like, it just doesn't feel real. I'm like also kind of stressed out too because of like the way my health has been too, way before this even became a thing. And Hi baby, you can come up here, come say hi, say hi Normie, you gonna be a big sister, you gonna be a big sister, you and Cloud, look, look, I know it smells like pee probably. <laughs> What? try to be the bestest dad I can be. What, are you recording it right there? Is that really what's going on? 
Yeah. Oh my. So you for I hours, just realized hours. that. <laughs> it's only because we stopped talking. Howdy, come here. Hi, Norman. Come here. Oh, you don't want the antler taken. Oh. Cowdy bee. Cowdy bee. Oh, I just missed that. Get it, Norman. Get it. Get it, Norman. Okay, I haven't been updating about anything because I really haven't been doing anything. I've literally just been laying in bed because I've been feeling awful. What I mean by awful is I've just been so nauseous. Currently, I'm actually about to leave to go out today. A friend of mine wants to practice rally with our dogs, which I'm fine with. Um, I'm actually feeling somewhat okay today. The uh, reason I say somewhat is because I've been feeling better than before. I'm still a little nauseous, but I have a lot more energy today. So I'm going to go and do that. I really need to eat. It's been really hard for me finding things to eat. And the reason for that being is because I have absolutely no appetite whatsoever. Like nothing sounds good to me. I just don't want to eat anything, but I need to eat. So that's been really hard for me. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated if anything else happens. Okay, it's the next day. Um, I didn't record at all yesterday because as soon as I was about to go leave the house, my camera started dying, so I just decided to leave it home and let it charge. Um, but it is currently May 21st, and I'm officially, well, I don't know yet because I haven't been to the doctor, but as of right now, I believe I'm seven weeks today. So this week will be the seventh week of this pregnancy. Um, like I said, I'm not completely sure just because I haven't been to the doctor just to like confirm actually how far along I am. I'm just going off of my the day, first day of my last period and this week will be seven weeks. I've actually been feeling kind of decent today. Um, I actually got up and took a shower. Taking a shower was already really hard for me with pots because the, the whole standing and then even when I try to sit down, it's just really hard to like get stuff done. I do feel like with this pregnancy, my pot symptoms have been like two times worse. Um, I've been running out of breath way more and I didn't think that that was like a thing until like you were big with the pregnancy, but I guess it's like a now thing too, but maybe it's mostly the pots. I've been running out of breath with everything, like going up the steps is awful, like way worse than it was before. I'm also going to make breakfast, which I have all set out over here. I'm going to make eggs and toast because I literally woke up and saw somebody post on their Snapchat story that they got eggs and toast like they went out to eat. And just looking at that just made me really want it. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first I'm going to feed the dogs their breakfast. That's pretty much what we're gonna do right now. Oh, who's upstairs? Why are you upstairs, Noemi? Are you hungry? Are you hungry, Cody? You want food? You want food? Oh, don't jump. No jumping. No jumping. Nope, nope, no jumping. I took a food. You hungry? You hungry? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's go get food. Bring me your bowl. Bring me your bowl. <clears throat> go bring me the other one. Go bring me the other one. Good girl. Good job.
So I literally just ate my food that I made, uh, which by the way, I'm not like a cook or anything like that. I actually didn't start cooking until I moved here. So I started, it was good. Like everything was fine to me. Um, <laughs> after I finished my toast though, I literally had like a single, like a bite that was like this big left. And I just got extremely nauseous. I literally had to run to the bathroom. So yeah, I, I jinxed myself, but God, this really sucks like a lot. And I'll give you guys another update when anything else happens. It's June 7th and I just got off the phone with my doctor. So we ended up scheduling my ultrasound, my first ultrasound, and it actually ended up being today. So it's in a few hours and that I'd bring you guys along with me on that journey because that's very nerve wracking and it's something very special obviously too that I want to keep from memory. So yeah, I'm about to go do that. It's currently um, one o'clock in the afternoon and that appointment is for 3.20, something like that. So like around three o'clock. So about have about two hours before then. Um, Currently, I'm trying to eat some food because I have such a hard time eating until it's like seven at night. But I have a uh, this wrap. It is a peanut butter and jelly in a tortilla. I just prefer to eat my peanut butter jellies in a tortilla because I don't like how thick the bread mix like mixed with the peanut butter. That's how I eat it. I currently have one. Hopefully, I'll be able to get two. We'll see. But for now, I'm eating one. But Yes, that's a little quick update and then I will see you guys when I'm on my way to my ultrasound. Go get the door. Go get it. You in the stair, get it. <laughs> get the door. Good job. Come on, let's go. Good job. Okay, so I just got my lab work done. And now we're waiting outside the clinic for my ultrasound because I'm about 20 minutes early. So that's what we're doing. So I'm right here. I think the girl's waiting with me. And yeah, I'm really nervous and kind of scared, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. We got 20 minutes and then the ultrasound, the first one, oh my God. Hopefully I can get a video of it. I don't know if I will be able to or not, but I'm hoping I will be able to. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I just got done with my appointment. It was very quick. Um, now I'm sitting at our pharmacy. It's a drive through like thing to get some medication to help like with some things to get some like vitamins and everything like that. Um, <laughs> so we saw the baby on the ultrasound and I got a quick little video of it that you guys saw in the last clip, but I'm going to show the pictures that I got. So this is one of them it literally looks like a little gummy bear to me oh my god a little gummy bear and then we got some other pictures um this one it's like all rolled up so it's kind of hard to like get it out but there's that one also sorry storm sitting right here panting in my ear but there's that one can't see much in that one um all the other ones are just measurement ones um so they Depending on how big the baby was, they actually did not change my due date, which means that I am still currently nine weeks. Um, so that hasn't changed at all. Yeah, and then I have this last one that I wanna show that is really cute right here. It's more of kind of like a side view, but not a side view. It's really weird. And then, like I said, the other ones are just measuring. That's why there's lines between them, but so what I have, I have this little handful of them over here. I have like three, three rows of three, so nine pictures. 
and we even saw i didn't get it on video because as soon as i started recording the baby stopped but on the ultrasound we literally saw the baby wiggle its arms and legs and it was so freaking cute started wiggling and moving around i can't feel that like it's too early to feel anything so i can't feel that but sort of wiggling around and we actually like saw it on uh the ultrasound and then as soon as i like put my phone out to start recording they stopped so the video um of the ultrasound the baby looks very very still but like right before was wiggling its legs and um arms and i really wish i got that on video but it was still really cute nonetheless and i'm hoping i can get videos of future ultrasounds i don't know when my next one's gonna be but i'm really glad that we got this one it kind of sucks that my husband couldn't be there but i got the video for him and i'm sending him these pictures and he'll also see them when he comes home in four days so yeah huh it's doing me you just chilling here with me <laughs> so yeah storm's usually in her crate that's like right behind me but i thought that I would let her chill in the seat with me and we're gonna chill here and wait for my medication and then I'll see you guys in the next update. This is so crazy to me. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Okay, so I would excuse my appearance because yesterday was my birthday and we we went out and took a photo shoot for the announcement of this whole situation on social media. And I like, <laughs> I put makeup on and then like right after I realized that I was out of makeup wipes. So I had to rinse my face off with water, but the waterproof mascara, you know, was, was, was a little bit hard. So I have it like under my eyes and stuff, but it's fine. Today is currently June 19th. I mean, it's been a couple days since, actually a couple weeks, since I last recorded. Actually, I think it's only been like a week. Yeah, it's only been like over a week <laughs> since I last recorded. So I actually had another appointment a few days ago um, on the 15th, and that was just for a physical. Usually they said that they do the physical and the first ultrasound appointment on the same day, but they couldn't find uh, openings for me to be able to do those on the same day. So I had to do them on two separate days. Yeah, they didn't really do much at the physical. I just, you know, got checked out head to toe. My vitals, uh, blood pressure was a little bit high at the beginning. And then as I sat down for a little bit, it, it went down, which I'm assuming was from my POTS because my blood pressure has been kind of high a little bit lately. And yeah, my, my heart rate was, was pretty high even when I was sitting down as well, but that's all that was really happening. Um, and then I did get to see baby again, but they didn't like take any pictures or anything like that. The only reason they did that was because they were trying to check the heartbeat, but they couldn't because I guess the baby was too small. So they had to do a quick little ultrasound just to make sure that everything like was okay and they could see the heartbeat and everything like that again. So that's what has been happening. The also, another reason why I'm sitting here and talking to you guys at this moment is because I'm thinking of uploading this tomorrow, which is Father's Day, because I think that would be really cute. I mean, what better way to upload it soon than Father's Day? We have pictures to upload on social media, and then there's not really much else for this video. I just kind of wanted uh, this video to kind of announce it and then also kind of bring you along my journey for the beginning of this, like within this month pretty much, because it's been over a month now since I found out. It's been pretty crazy. Um, I don't really know much else to say about that besides it's been really crazy experience. Um, my reaction was just like shocked. I still am pretty shocked, but I'm starting to get a little bit more excited. It's just been scary. Like the whole thing has just been scary to me for a lot of different reasons. And then um, I've had like moments where I'm like super excited and then I get scared again and that's just kind of how it works. So I think it's going to be that way probably the whole time or at least the beginning. I don't know. So I am actually uh, currently 11 weeks right now. I started 11 weeks yesterday. Uh, according to an app that I have, the baby is as big as a strawberry, which is pretty big to me. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's getting up there. 
I really want to thank you all for watching this video and watching my experience with all of this. I know that my husband wasn't in this video very much, but that is because he was gone for the first like three weeks that we that I found out and that of recording all of this stuff. And then when he came home, um, he's just been kind of resting because they did a lot while he was gone. So yeah, but he's definitely excited. He's very supportive. We've been trying to come up with baby names, but it's also because like we might want to wait until we find out the gender just to focus on one gender name. But I've been, I've still been looking because I can't wait and I'm like, I get bored and stuff. Yeah, he's been really sweet and I haven't really thought of anything to record with him other than that. So yeah. But yeah, anyway, as I said before, thank you all for watching this video and joining me on this journey. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and it's gonna be pretty crazy from here on out, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> all right, well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be soon later. Mm -hmm.